Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Ender Lilies. We uh, made our way out of the castle last time. The castle where we, Lily, that is, woke up or was woken up by this guy here. This knight. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, this is so gonna break. Come on. Maybe not. Never mind. The parish way too. Um, yeah, and we're now in these forests that are being constantly drenched by the the rain. Uh, it had a specific name. The rain that is apparently spreading the blight that's been afflicting the land, that has turned everything into basically zombies or hollows, I guess, to use Soul's terminology. Soldiers of the nation rose to face the blighted, but struggled in vain. In the end, the prayers of the woman in white saved the kingdom. Her words, the only thing capable of purifying and stopping the blighted. Revered by the people, this woman came to be known as the White Priestess. Oh, the White Priestess? The one? We've heard them referred to as the White Priestesses, and... It seems like we are one of them. Maybe it was literally just the one original older priestess and Lily is somehow her successor, priestess in training, or something. Whoa, a deep forest, and almost and almost entirely submerged. Submerged, you say? I guess I chose the lower route for no particular reason. Oh, hello. Mushroom magician. Uh, that's how you dodge, right? Oh, that thing wasn't dead yet. We don't have a plunging attack yet, that's right. Okay, took some damage, that's okay. Oh, they can fly apparently. Oh, okay. It's not so bad. Destructible, yes. Sure enough. Oh, there was healing inside that pot. Okay, so that's a thing. Good to know. Oh, and we can actually grab these kinds of drop-down platforms. That's good to know. Uh, these glowing ominous torches aren't anything special. Okay. What? Oh. Weird how the things seem to aim at the floor, the ground at my feet, <laughs> or... Yeah, I don't know. Already, as I was running towards it, I suppose it was basically leading me with the shot. <laughs> Didn't quite work out for it, though. Witch's Thicket. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. <laughs> I guess I spoke a little bit too soon. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, as ineffective as her, uh, you know, belly flop dodge move looks it's pretty powerful actually oh hey we actually get these essences that are maybe some sort of upgrade material from destructible things like that interestingly interest interestingly interestingly i don't think i've received any of those yeah no uh, from normal enemies so far interesting i wonder if there's just a very low chance um, because, yeah, one Stagnant Blight and one Furious Blight we've received from refighting the first boss. Ow? Oh. Contact damage. And... More damage. Uh, wait, how do you heal? Like that. For some reason I didn't think just running into an enemy would damage me, but uh, that was foolish, apparently. Okay. I mean, I kind of... Um... I kind of chose the lower route first, but we do have fast travel unlocked between any save points, so as soon as we get to another one, we could return to that crossroads and check out the upper branch. I might want to do that, just to see if it leads to some sort of um, dead end immediately. Oh, did we once again not quite kill that guy? I could have sworn it was dead. Or do they come back to life? Probably not, I'm, and I'm just very inobservant. 
Like, I mean, here it looks like it's dead, yeah, and I definitely leveled from it, so... I guess it did die. And once again, the path splits. Let's at least take a look at what's going on down here. There's quite a bit going on. Oh, that's... It's gonna give me a healing charge back. Might as well, I suppose. That was another... Essence of some sort. Yeah. Stagnant lights. Okay. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh, don't! First death. Wow, that dealt a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. That was... Not very smart. Okay, well... That was also not very smart, but actually it turns out that you... Cannot waste your heal charges when you fall on health. That's really good to know. I don't know why I pressed that button either. In some game that I've played somewhat recently, what the heck? <laughs> that must have been the dodge button. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Just having so much trouble suddenly. Ooh. Seems like those crows will always kind of shoot forward, yeah. So underneath them is actually completely safe. Uh, speaking of completely safe, let's just not risk things unnecessarily. Um, so there is no map marker where I died. And I also don't know that I lost any progress. Well, actually, I don't know. I might have lost the experience I had towards the next level. But maybe not. Um, the game also didn't give me a tutorial about, you know, this is what happens when you die. This is the stuff you lose. Maybe you don't lose anything. And you literally just have to make your way back. Oh, this is not actually a barrier, never mind. It's just a broken down gate. I'm um, assuming there's something up there. Yeah. The map square is still orange, so there's still something to get. No, wait. That's the other way around. It is complete then. So there's nothing? Interesting. Oh. Seems this was once a village. Yes. And I guess we're here now. Why am I getting... <laughs> caught by those guys now? Get out of there. Okay. Oh. Wolf. Pretty quick. Pretty agile. Not super tanky. What is that? Can I not climb this thing? I guess not. Okay. What is that up there? Is that another one of those, um, like, mini bosses? I think maybe that village boy. Also, very nice music suddenly picking up here. Um,. Yeah, that village youth mini-boss, if you even want to call it a mini-boss. Special enemy, I suppose, elite enemy or something. That we fought and that we now have as a companion. Might have looked similar with a glowing red whatever that is. Can we? No, this is foreground. Huh. I don't suppose... Well, we can launch that in mid-air, but I cannot like aim it upwards or anything. No. Oh, what? That has an aerial type of attack. Interesting. But apparently just hitting it is not enough. Seems like I can't do anything with that then. For the time being. Unless there's a way even higher up. Maybe there is. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, you can't stand on that. Okay. Apparently I did not stun that enemy out of its attack, and it still hit me. Fair enough, I suppose. So, I could stand here, but without some sort of vertical dash, that doesn't help. 
Okay. That is not the way. That's not the... That's not the dodge button. What game is that? Where, where that is the dodge button? It's not a very typical dodge button either, so I'm really not sure where that muscle memory is coming from. Get out of there. Hmm? Amulet fragment. That's another 5 HP. Nice. So apparently there's a way down from this area, but I don't think I passed it. Hmm. Can we get you with that? Uh, yeah, actually. Might as well, I suppose. What? What just happened? <laughs> I guess the arrow was aimed at me much better than I expected it to be. Can't get him before he gets me. Leveled up again. That's nice. Okay, this is a way down, obviously. Nope, get out of there. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, there's another, I guess, special enemy up there. I suppose you have to touch them. So I guess uh, maybe the reason why we got double jumps so early in the game is because there's actually a triple jump or something. Obviously, there's got to be some sort of movement ability that'll allow me to get to those very high up places. This looks climbable, but I guess not. Ooh, and once I drop down here, that is a path of no return, unless I can climb up the other side of the building. I think I can, though. But yeah, this one's here. This one here is going to be a little bit dangerous, and I'm down to one heal. Oh, well. Oh. Okay, there is contact damage, and I don't know why I keep forgetting that. I did not need to do that, for the record. There, just use my special abilities. I don't know why I, I dodged into them. That's literally the opposite of what I wanted to do. Oh well. Maybe I'll eventually actually learn my controls and not just panic mesh whenever things get slightly hectic. Okay, we can not return this way. That's good. Good to know. What? The crow actually hit me. Alright. Guess I'll have to accept that. Ooh. Can we just go around and enter that? <laughs> oh, hey, you're uh, definitely scary looking. Don't mind if I just use my Range attacks against you. I mean, you're extremely slow, so I guess that helps. Yeah. Oh, I actually stunned him and killed him. Maybe he's scarier looking than he is. Okay. So there's another one of those red enemies. Oh no, we can't get there though. But here's another one. If that even is what that is, if I'm remembering that correctly. Okay, you're going into your wild flurry. We can open this up. We get a heal back. Oh, I'm guessing we probably can't drop through this. Yeah, no, we totally can. Okay. What was this? What did, what did it say? Something about the rain. Pick up stagnant blight times 10. Oh. 
can be used to enhance skills. Filthy residue shed by a purified blighted. The sorrowful muck is stagnant but glints with a faint light. Allows you to enhance your skills at respites. Oh. Were we able to do that before? Presumably not, because there have been little tutorial pop-ups for new mechanics like that. Okay. So I guess that, um, yeah, I must, I must be wrong in that village youth spirit must have looked different. And those are just special items, special pickups. Maybe it's always gonna be these blighted residues or similar things. Or maybe it can be different things. Uh, this is where we came up. Well, the map is only gonna help so much with determining that, <laughs> that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Just jump straight over me. Nice. And level up again. I was wondering how much grinding that might be required to to get to that max level of 100, but honestly, level ups have been coming pretty pretty quickly. Oh, okay. Right, those angle down more than I expected. Oh, actually, that can go up as well. Interesting. Okay, when you, will you maybe come over this way? Well, I guess not, but I can come over to you, so that's all good. Yeah, those guys are really easy to deal with, just dodge right through and then somehow fail to finish them off and... Well, still not a big deal. Uh, drop down. Oh, okay, yeah, those guys can just decide not to care about my attacks at all and just continue attacking. And catch me by surprise. It's another one of those things. Okay. That's right. Really like to dodge too early for these guys. And once again, get caught. Missing so many, or bypassing so many passageways. I guess choosing the topmost path first before exploring any of the anything branching branching downward. It's not the worst idea. Um, okay, so yeah, these areas are marked incomplete because obviously there are things I didn't collect. Ooh, can we get there? We should be able to. It looks fancy. Might be locked. I don't know. I don't know, have we even come across some sort of chest before? You just drop down through here? No, but I mean, I should be able to just do this. Oh, not locked. Relic, broken music box. Slightly reduces damage received from enemies. Okay. An old lullaby still leaks out from this music box, destroyed in the heat of battle. A note is attached. Dear child, I hope to see you in my dreams. Right, but we have to equip that at a respite as well, don't we? Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing the path... Yeah, this, this must be the pathway downwards. So... Oh. And this is the way forward. Do we... Wait, do we have all of our healing charges? Or... Oh yeah, we do. How did I recover them all? I know I hit a flower at at, a po at some point, but... Uh, I spy a shack over yonder. Let's rest our weary bones. Oh yes, okay. Well, I guess I didn't... Wait, no, this is not a respite? Well, maybe it is. Uh, so I guess I didn't have to worry about healing at all, but... Oh well. A true believer's note. After the blight started to appear in Land's End, many religions quickly began to die out, including the true way. Seeking hope, many flocked to the White Priestess. It is likely that the way of the White Parish arose from there and spread amongst the people. Okay. Well, let's rest here. No reason not to. You possess spirits that can be enhanced. Spirits can be enhanced at respites. Thank you. Relics. First, I guess. And uh, insufficient slot. Wait. Oh! Slots 2, slots 1. Slightly increased max HP. By how much? I believe that's another five only, right? 
Yes. So that's not a huge deal at all. And this... Um, I guess we don't really see that kind of detailed stats, do we? I'm going to assume that... Because it takes two slots, though... Um, and also, presumably, defense or damage reduction works like on a, on a percentage basis of damage received. That that's going to be more effective than five more hit points. Like it's going to reduce incoming damage by, you know, effect uh, increase my effective health by more than five. I guess it's an assumption to make, but well, what else can I do? Uh, so spirits, uh, no. Enhance. That would be the one. Um, I mean, I feel like I absolutely want to increase my basic attack, but I guess I can't? Oh yeah, that requires Ancient Souls. Mm -hmm, I see, that would make sense. These I could... Wait, yeah. These I can increase, but it takes 10. Hmm. Attack plus and cooldown time minus... All right, this one only increases attack. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, there might be other infinitely usable basic attacks. Presumably there are, like, basically the equivalent of finding different weapons for your main attack. But, um, I mean, I do like this one. It seems pretty universally useful. Um, so... I feel like there's a good likelihood of me just upgrading this one as far as I possibly can, but obviously not now. I don't know, should I save my stuff? I mean, I yeah, these come in handy every now and then. Honestly, I find the guard, Guardian Cigarette a little bit lackluster. You don't really want to find yourself surrounded by enemies, and that's the only time when this is going to be very useful, because your normal attack can already hit multiple enemies when they're next to each other, right? And I just don't just want to stand in the middle of enemies and and use this. Plus, the long cooldown, or, you know, the cooldown, makes it so I can't even spam it anyway. So I can really just activate it and get out of there, but, you know, on the other hand, I could just get out of there and attack from a safer distance away. So I don't know. This one, giving me a ranged option. You know what, right now, 10 out of 16 of my Stagnant Blight seems like a lot, but obviously, in the long run, that's gonna be nothing, so... Cliffside Hamlet Youth, exactly. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Hey, latent power achievement. Enhance the spirit for the first time. Right. Okay. And the next one is gonna co cost 30, yeah, so. Seems a path leads off from here. Shall we take a look? Oh. Well, I mean, I suppose this would be the upper path. So yeah, let's just basically uh, use the good old, you know, light, uh, right hand or left hand rule and just follow one wall, as it were, of, of the labyrinth until we can no longer follow that path. Okay, we do now three shot these guys. Or kill them with one full combo, that's good to know. Okay, that was... Oh, we did not kill that one crow. Okay, I thought I two-shot these before. Maybe not with the aerial attack. The aerial combo does seem to be a bit weaker. Oh, I... Yeah, in that case, I... Uh, I should have dodged into the enemy, or underneath him in this case. Oh well. It's fine. Okay, so, th yeah, this path kind of loops backward, but, I mean, what does it even mean? Not much. What? Oh, that still hit me somehow. I thought for sure it would not. This is destructible. Nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay, so you need a full three-hit combo for those crows, in the air at least. If you, you can't catch them close enough to the ground, I'm pretty sure they can be two-shot. Whoa, really? That missed? Well, actually, I don't know if the projectile itself can even hit enemies, or if it's just the explosion that happens once it hits the ground. Okay, another fancy chest that looks like we might not have a way to get to. Right? Yeah, we cannot, we cannot cross that. here, please. Come on. Really? <laughs> hmm. It's a bit awkward. Ah, oh, come on. No! Somehow that one attack didn't connect. It's so close, come on. Okay, never mind. Hmm, way down, you say. This area does not connect downward. Another level up, so this has to be just a hidden section. I mean, it's not very hidden if it's behind a... Ah, secret ball. Dropped too early again. Guess these guys always take a little bit longer to jump than I think they will. Maybe backing off when you when you can safely do so is the better option here. Okay, that water looks deadly. Save me from this darkness. Bathe me in tranquil light. Stagnant blight times ten. Filthy residue shed by a purified blighted. Is this the same stuff as before? Wait, stagnant blight? A sorrowful mock is stagnant, but glints with a faint light. Allows you to enhance your skills at respite. Stagnant blight. No, yeah, that is the same stuff. Okay. Maybe for those, you will always get the the full pickup message. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, <laughs> honestly, um, nice. Um, I mean, this this wall looked extremely suspicious because it was a little bit blurry. It looked like foreground, so I would have jumped into it anyway, and then it actually got removed before I even. Before it even came to that. And just suicide right in there. Fine by me. Oh, I didn't really need that, did I? There's stuff going on up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't fool me. You almost did, though. Oh, wait. I'm not sure where this leads us. Obviously, we couldn't have been here before. Wait, no, we must have been. Oh, maybe I decided to climb up instead of jumping down here. That must be it. But obviously we had to open that from the inside. Yeah, okay. And obviously there is more to this, including a path leading upwards, or... I guess not necessarily up. It could lead, like, into the background, basically, like... That passage earlier. Cannot make it across and cannot get to the fancy chest, unfortunately. Oh, is this an entrance? It absolutely is. Alright, ah. Uh, completely missed that while just frantically trying to deal with these crows here. But there's also a way up here. Okay, we two shot those guys, that's good to know. Interestingly, there's there seems to be a way. On the other side of this of this building. Oh, that's nice damage actually. Almost a hundred damage for these. That looks like a maybe a tougher version of those big guys. Yeah, definitely a different one. Okay. Tougher and more disgusting. Another five HP, wonderful. I would really like to just kill those stupid birds.
I mean, the map says that there is no path over this way. I guess if I eventually can triple jump or just fly or something, I would be able to get on top of this roof and on the other side, and maybe those plat platforms are just so I don't get soft lock and can climb back out. It's a little bit intriguing. Okay, finally we got you at least. I might have to leave this one. I mean, it has come into our range before, but it's just so random. Ah, frustratingly out of reach. Unless, hold on. Maybe? Oh yeah, that hits it. Never mind, that would do the trick. And this is a dead end, okay, and also very tiny on the... on the map. What are you? Western Merchant? Ouch. Okay, you got some nasty tricks. Uh, I should not have stood there. Wait, I did, my heal didn't go through. That's very important to know. Oh, I should not have dodged there. I was perfectly fa perfectly safe. Oh, actually, you know what? The aerial version of this is just superior. It hits so much faster. I guess the individual hits aren't as strong. I did get it. Okay. Yeah, this this thing was <laughs> was uh, dangerous. If only you could have. Ah, sorry, I I was distracted. I didn't read it in time. Purify. Spirit Western Merchant summons the spirit of the Western Merchant who launches ranged attacks at enemies on sight. This merchant from a western land came to lands and peddling foreign wares, a vibrant salesman who would light up when touting his rare stock. Okay, I'd like to give that a shot. But, um... I can only equip... Right? Yeah, I can only equip skills at a respite. Alright, fair enough. Summons the spirit... 50 uses, one cooldown. Okay. Summons the spirit of the Western Merchant who launches ranged attacks at enemies on sight. Hmm. I wonder how that works. Well, we'll find out. Uh, definitely looks like there could be something more here once I can jump high enough, but I think the map actually says that that area is cleared, so I'm gonna trust it on that. Yeah, this... However, we'll have to come back for eventually. I didn't necessarily mean to do that. Once again, I pressed that button trying to dodge. I don't know. What's up with that? Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, actually, the one other game that I'm... Well, I guess I'm always technically paying, playing several other games, but... I have somewhat recently played, uh, started playing Ellen Wake 2, which, which is obviously a very different game from this, or most things I usually play. Wait, have we not come through here? Oh, we have not. No, never mind. Of course not. Uh, so this is all new, and this has three areas leading, leading up from here. Alright, well, we're gonna try to go with the top right option if we can. Uh, yeah, anyway, Ellen Wake 2 actually has the dodge button on what is the heal button in this one, so that would explain that, I guess. Hey, big guy. Wake up. Secret? No. Look kind of suspicious. Okay, we won't be able to take the lower path here, which is fine, because I wasn't planning to anyway. I don't know why I keep thinking that I can get those guys before they get me. It never works out. What? Okay, I think you're one of the those blight-spearing ones? Yeah, you are. Good job, Secret. I mean, it's on me for not aiming correctly or, you know placing it when when and where I did, but still. <laughs> I'm just a little bit disappointed with her in general. She's trying her best, I'm sure. 
Okay, so we can open that up. We can also get over here. Ah, yes, there was something. It's another amulet fragment. Keep him coming. Oh god, what's going on? <laughs> All the attacks getting launched here. Ooh. Well, not sure who or what this guy was trying to attack. Not me, I guess. Uh, I should not dodge away from the arrows. <laughs> that seems like a terrible idea. Get out. Get out. Nice, yeah, okay. I mean, Sigurd is useful against those. I will give her that. Yeah, just fire and forget. <laughs> Interesting that we have different sized versions of those. Actually, that one's also not... Ow. Not glowing so brightly, so... Can that maybe be broken? No. Not like that. Thanks for the healing. Kinda need that. What? Oh, I did not expect to <laughs> climb on top of this roof here. That almost threw me up a little bit. Um... <laughs> Threw me off, threw me off. Uh, you know what? There. Use that healing charge immediately. Oh, wait. What just happened? I thought something happened visually with this thing I'm standing on. I guess not. Okay. Oh, we stunned the crow. Interesting. Alright. Huh, there's definitely something up there that we cannot get to. Right? You see that too. There's a passage. Secret passage into the upper... The curiously... Blacked out version of that building there. Blacked out version part of it, I should say. Oh, nice. He's just taking it. He's not even waking up properly. He knows he can't do anything. Poor guy. Absolutely not necessarily necessary to handle him like this, but... Why not? If I can make your fight trivial, why would I not? to climb there, but that worked out. Yeah, so there is clearly something there. Although, wait, we should be able to get into there from here. All right. In a punishment, it is a punishment from the gods. This land is cursed. Okay, furious plight. That's the. That's the second tier upgrade stuff, right? Filthy residue shed by a pure friend blighted. Steep then rage and fury. It gives off a vengeful red light. Allows you to enhance your skills and respects. Yeah, that's the, the second type. Okay. Well, we opened... Yeah, we opened the gate here. There's a huge whatever kind of barrier that is. Oh, get out of there. Okay. Nice. Lurking filth. Reach level 10. Oh, okay. Come down here. Just a little bit lower. Come on. Oh. A bit lower still? No? I guess not. Will you get down here? It looks like... No. Oh, I'm out of cigarettes as well. That's uh, good to know. Oh, this is gonna give me some... Yeah, some spirit charges back there. Alright, I forgot that there were... Also, red flowers that did that. Okay, there's stuff up there that we can't get to. There, get him like that. Finish him off. Nice. 
Yep, once again, can't get up there to whatever that is. Oh, is this the lower path? It sure seems to be. Oh, huh, interesting, actually. Hold on. I was going to say that, you know... Oh, that was foolish. I was going to say that uh, it's probably not a bad idea to just... Go uh, with this, uh, go with the upper route in this case, I mean, as I was going to do anyway, following my pattern. Yeah, there's a thing there that we need to be able to dive for. An item to dive for. Um, because... Yeah, I was going to say, you know, we, we, we take the upper route, and if we fall, we're going to get down here anyway, but um, apparently the upper route here does not connect to the upper part of that area at all, judging by the map. Yep, that's a completely different area. And we got wolves again. Which are not my favorites, I gotta say. They're a little bit scary. Okay. Could use some more white flowers, or at least one. Yeah, so they're basically gonna charge at you and if you dodge past that, they're going to continue continue onward and start their second attack. And if you dodge that, you have a bit of a window for a counterattack. Uh, I don't think we can make this. Oh, or can we? That might have been close. Oh, wow. Didn't expect to get him there. Oh, wait. <laughs> there are platforms here. Making this trivial. Stagnant Blight. Yeah, I did not get your message, I'm sorry. Um, right, Stagnant Blight. First type. Ooh, dr duck out of the way. Ah, oh, not quite. Not that I need to. Did I? Oh, maybe... Maybe my attack actually damaged this guy down here. That I without me wanting to or noticing. What is that? Chain of Sorcery. Grants an additional relic slot. Heck yeah. Obviously that had to be a thing. A magical chain that links with the power contained in a relic. Awesome. Now we can get those extra five hit points for what it's worth. Oh, okay. Looks like we won't be able to take the upper path here at all. So for the first time we have to... We're forced into the lower route. Well, maybe not for the first time, obviously. That was the case much earlier in the game. Also, uh, there's a respite? Yeah, okay. So they, they're not always benches. That's also nice. Adherence letter. It is, uh, it is at the White Parish grounds in the catacombs, where the Guardian candidates endure many years of training. They toil to fortify their bodies and minds to be deemed worthy of protecting the White Priestess. Selected from devotees of the church, it is said that only the ten finest candidates will learn will earn that honor. Okay. Well, let's rest here and uh, do things. Spirits. That's right. I definitely want to give this a shot. I guess I'll set this to um, that button and B. Uh, yeah, I actually, uh, in between episodes, I switched the option to make the uh, the skill set switch uh, a toggle, uh, or rather a hold button instead of a toggle. So now I I need to press, I, I have to hold the uh, R1, basically, or right bumper. No, wait, I, I don't know. What is it, officially? It's uh, RB and RT? Yeah, RB, I think, uh, on an Xbox controller. And then one of the three face buttons. I don't know why that's important to you. I guess it's not, but <laughs> now you know. Right, we equip that. Uh, we can't really enhance. I mean, I suppose I could. Stagnant Blight. Attack plus. You know what? Why not? I haven't even tried it yet, but it seems nice. Let's see. Oh, you summon it. Wait. Oh, you summon it. Wait. Oh, okay. Maybe... Hold on. It, I summon it, and I, I guess it probably stays active 
and keeps attacking enemies, and each attack will probably reduce one of its charges. That's why it has so many. Uh, also, because I bound it to the other skill set, it disappeared as soon as I let go of the button. So I guess the skill has to actually be in your active set, or it's gonna despawn. So let's see if that's true. And let's see if we just bind it here instead, and I guess put the grenade skill there. So now if I press B, I just summon it and it's gonna stay active, yeah. But once I tip, tap B <laughs> to uh, to cast one of these, it's gonna disappear. All right, okay, I mean, we'll play around with that. Oh, and this actually connects down to the other path. Wait, where though? Oh, down here. But that one's also marked, oh, yeah, never mind. This is marked as incomplete, as is the previous area. Uh-oh. Remind me. What did I miss here? Well, there's the upper path that we couldn't take. But in addition to that... Oh, there was another platform with a... With a red item on it, maybe? something. Maybe not. Oh yeah, okay. There was. Um, let's actually try this one. Oh, it shoots! It's not not a melee attack, as I kind of expected. That's neat. The damage is not a, amazing, but you know, it's some, some passive damage. And a decent number of charges that should last for a good while. What? How did all of those hit me? I thought I stood behind those guys before and was relatively safe, but I guess I was a little bit too close this time. Okay, anyway. I, I definitely do like... Hi there. I didn't think there were any enemies left here. My bad. Um, I do like that it just stays active and does not just consume energy all the time or charges all the time, but only when he actually attacks. Ah, oh, there's an item here. Hamlet request one. Request fearless warrior needed to slay large monsters in the forest. Monsters have settled in the forest near the Hamlet, wounding many of the of the king's soldiers. Rewards will be given for any of the fiends killed. Stand with us to protect our great nation. Knight of the Bastion, Haimo. I guess. Not sure if that offer still stands, considering everyone's dead. But maybe those monsters are still there. I mean. I think it's pretty fair to assume that they are. Oh. Interesting. There's a white flower on the other side there. Well, that was a whiff. Get out of there. Finish them off. Aha! Nice try. Fragment Gant. Right, well, we'll we're not going to be able to clear this area because of that underwater item, of course. Oh, he's going to come down here, yeah. Another level up already? What happened to my bird? I don't think I... Uh, intentionally unsummoned it. Huh. Right, I mean, that's... That over there is just where we were before. Ow. I think that enemy just outright died when it fell into the water. I guess enemies can't swim. Oh, you're fancy looking. Wait, we can't get to you though, can we? Oh, we totally can. Never mind. Yep, 
Yeah, you're definitely... Hey, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, we're confined to this area now as well. Ouch. Holy crap. Yeah, you're a bit scary. <gasps> Big shockwave. Oh, stun him. Nice. Summon him for Away. Get away from that. Oh, we got it. <laughs> nice. Slow, slow mo dodge. Given the choice, I'd rather have lost my mind than this. Well, your suffering's over now, my friend. Could this be a new basic attack? We'll see, I guess. Spirit, headless defender, a knight with shield at the ready. Well timed blocks will counter enemies, leaving them stunned and vulnerable. Ooh, yeah. So, sword and board style, if we want to. A knight who followed in the footsteps of the hero Garrod. Suffering the blight upon becoming immortal took its toll. He was beheaded for attacking his fellow knights. Oof. Oh, purging glow. Obtain five blighted spirits. Okay. And here we get some healing back. Very nice. Oh, we can't even climb this. That's because it's a shortcut. Back over this way. Ooh. Would have been fine. Of course we could have climbed back up. Oh, I'm definitely gonna give that a try. Cannot go down this way, so the lower route here is not available to us. Oh, wait. Never mind. This is not a basic weapon. How are these? Are these somehow. Main skill, sub skill, okay. Yeah, there must be other main skills to find, but so far we've only been finding other sub skills. Fair enough. Um, okay, they're all aquatic as well. No, never mind. Oh, this is not. I thought they had all been up to this point. I mean, I'm really not sure what that means. Aquatic, obviously, uh, you know, none of these seem particularly water based to me. And, you know, this one isn't isn't considered aerial or anything, and this one isn't considered, I don't know, terrestrial, whatever the equivalent might be. So, not sure what's up with that. Maybe we'll learn eventually. We probably will. Uh, I will equip this to... Where would I want my parry to be? I mean, maybe just on my... On the regular attack button. Does it use a charge? Yeah, it does. Even when you don't actively parry anything. Uh, fair enough. What does it take to upgrade? I guess uh, so far all the normal... or well, all the sub-skills have taken stagnant blights, yeah. Right. Total information. Ah, yes. Counter enemies. Leaving them stunned. Okay, so the counter itself, only in addition to leaving them stunned, also deals damage, and that's what we increase here. I kind of wish we'd increase the uh, the block window, perhaps, but maybe later levels will do that. Of course, I don't know how generous it is. Cannot drop down here, huh? No. I also... Oh, we might be coming up in a boss fight here. Yeah, the sudden lack of music definitely makes me think that. Um, I was going to say, maybe I should... Look to end the episode. Oh well, we still have a couple minutes left. Yeah, you look like you could be bad news. Let's do it. Garrett the Elder Warrior. We just heard that name, didn't we? Yeah, that's... Was that a shockwave? Oh god, I actually dodged away from that. Not that one, though. You maybe not ah, be awkwardly against the edge of the screen there. That would be nice. Okay, stun him. I oh, huh? Phase two. Yeah. Okay. Now he does proper shockwaves. Let's heal. Oh yeah, and definitely use the aerial version of Sigrid against him. Oh. 
Or not, I guess. I don't know, maybe the ground-based version of her deals more stagger damage? That's just a, a guess, though, really. I'll get out of there? Okay. Oh, we about to stun her again. Big explosion. Next phase. Okay, he does that multiple times now. Twice, looks like. Okay. Getting close to the stun again. Eh, not that close. Also, we're out of secrets. Uh oh. And I'm starting to mess up my buttons. <laughs> happening. Okay. Oof. Nope. Okay, that reaches the entire screen. <sighs> oh, come on. Really? That hit me? That hit me as well. I, I was not hit by that one, but... No, I'm messing up all of my inputs now. As is tradition in situations like this. Oh. I wish I could have like one he healing charge back that I wasted stupidly before. <sighs> okay. Okay, that no, I dodged. Oh. Why did I dodge there? That was dumb. Oh, I could have absolutely won there. And now, of course, because I didn't get it on the first try, this is going to go over an hour. Ah, oh, man. That's slightly annoying. I wonder if this would be a good enemy to try to parry because he's so slow. I'm At this point, I might as well try it. At least now the first try victory is out of the window, so... Oh. Uh, I guess I'm gonna keep unsummoning my crow though if I try that. Oh, that worked! Wow, that's that's some good damage as well. I was too slow on that one. I don't know if you can parry these. Maybe I should try. Okay. Not really. Okay. I'm. One problem I see with. Uh, the skills on the alternate uh, skill bar is that you cannot see their cooldowns unless you actively switch. Okay, yeah, definitely dodge away from that one. And the counter move is nice, it's a pretty powerful hit. But, yeah, no, no real, like, counter attack. I'm not stunning him. Not sure if it's really worth it. Oh, obviously I'm also kind of just messing up now. Yeah, he's gonna switch phases. He's gonna do that. That was a jump. Nope, that's that was also a jump. And another counter wasted. It's gonna do a charge? Nope. It's a shockwave. That's a, a jump. Right into the shockwave. Okay, and I <laughs> did that too early. Yeah, yeah, well. I don't know that the counters are really gonna help me here. Okay, you can counter those kinds of special attacks. That's good to know, I guess. Oh, wait, did I parry him there? I mean, as in... Oh god. Nope. What? That reached so far. Jesus, okay. 
I mean, obviously that one was not going to be the one. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the parries are satisfying to do, but I keep mistaking his, or I keep being unsure whether he's going to jump or do a melee attack. And obviously when I parry as he jumps up, that's completely wasted. Oh, he's already so close to being stunned. Thing. A shockwave. Out of there. Yeah, being aggressive definitely uh, makes the fight go a lot faster, that's for sure. Can I heal, please? Okay. You can interrupt your own heal, I guess. It's good to know. It's not always useful, necessarily, but... That's a shockwave. Get out of there. Oof. Yeah, he's gonna face transition. Knock me back. Okay, yeah, he's gonna jump multiple times. Get out of there. Hit me with a backswing. Cool. Hit me with a charge that I didn't properly foresee. Okay, hit me with a shockwave. We're almost out of secrets. Okay, that's not the charge, never mind. Get out, get out. Okay. What? Oh, come on. Heal. Get out of there. Secret is actually <laughs> supremely useful in this fight. Please ignore all the smack talk from earlier. Okay, but also just not panicking helps a lot. Who would have thought? And he's dead. Okay, I mean, third try, I really can't complain. And the second one hardly counts because I was really just messing around. The blighted scum, how could they? How dare they? It's over now. You can rest. I hear the muffled voices of the villagers outside my shack. They fear what I, ha what I have become upon my return from the fortress battle. I chose to become an immortal knight to protect them all. There are days I wish I would be purified, but... The priestess of the Fount must not be made to carry that burden any longer. After some time, I hear voices again. But this time they belong to the white priestess and a child. The priestess, once but a child herself, now cuts a radiant figure. I no longer know the pleasures of joy, but despite this, my cheeks widen in a grin. When madness takes me, will this little one be made to carry the burden? I don't know how long my consciousness will hold out. But as long as I am myself, I will be a shield to protect them from harm. Okay. The pain I will endure is nothing compared to their suffering. If you say so. Okay. Uh, this might be a, a, a main skill, actually. I think the color is slightly different. More reddish than orange. Garrett, the Elder Warrior, swings a heavy, powerful hammer slowly, but with force and range enough to blow enemies away. You know, I sometimes do like to go for the really heavy-hitting, slow weapon, so I definitely, I'm definitely going to give this a try. A giant of a man, once dubbed the finest knight in the kingdom, he was a symbol of glory and a hero to his village. His altruism made his demise a lonely one. 
Okay, and we get... Oh, is this... Yeah, it is. Giant's Hammer. While airborne down and eggs, Elder Warrior Garrett dives and unleashes a sh uh, shockwave upon landing. Can break pustulant ground. The greater the height, the more power the shockwave. Interesting. So maybe for some of the bigger uh, pustulant barriers, I guess, you need to jump from a certain height. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Blasphemous 2. Yeah. I mean, obviously Blasphemous 2. I was just wondering if if something like that was also in Blasphemous 1, but I don't remember. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, Giant's Hammer. Okay. And it didn't seem... No, actually it doesn't... Oh. Ah, it tells you right there. I see. After leaping up, you can perform a dive attack with Garrod by pressing down and X in midair. Presumably, yeah, actually it shows right there that you don't have to have him equipped. That's just a new passive ability. Awesome. The impact of the dive can break through postulant ground impenetrable by normal attacks. Some postules are tougher than others and can only be broken by diving from on high. Fair enough. He protected the village to the very end. A brave warrior indeed. Indeed. You were in his memory. Did you two visit him often? I guess I don't remember, probably. Hey, Fury, purify Garrett the Elder Warrior achievement. All right, awesome. Um, yep, we just we can just do that now. <laughs> so the <laughs> version from just a normal jump doesn't feel particularly impactful. Double jump doesn't feel really that much stronger either, but well, it's going to be enough to break through some of these red barriers at least. Which is great, uh, except that they're not specifically marked on my map at all. Sure would be nice if there were some additional markers denoting what exactly we're missing in in these various areas. But, I mean, at least we know that all the blue ones still have something. And at least two of those passages leading down from the path I took here, uh, took to get here, were also blocked off by those. Assuming we can get high enough, uh, high up enough to uh, to actually break through those, because those were the the bigger type for sure. Okay. Anyway, uh, we obviously made some good progress. This has become a longer episode. I honestly, I probably should have just yeah. I mean, at 54 minutes or so, I should not have run into a boss fight. That was foolish, but I couldn't stop myself. <laughs> Um, you know, it's fine. It's what it is. I I'm, guess I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, confirm that it's a main skill. I'm gonna give that a try for now. Why not? Okay, Garrett's memory. Right, uh, also, one final thing I wanted to mention is that his little cutscene confirmed that, indeed, there were apparently only two white priestesses. Originally, just the one priestess, and then, uh, I guess she took an apprentice at some point, or maybe apprentice is not the right word, but, you know initiate or whatever um, or maybe we're even her daughter who knows who became or is now the only white priestess priestess remaining at the very beginning when it when the game started mentioning white priestesses I was kind of thinking of a whole like caste or maybe not caste uh, order or whatever a whole you know group of those priestesses but I guess it was only ever two um, anyway, uh, that's it for today, for this episode. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.